can we do something we don't often do and, and talk a little bit about you and, and our colleagues there, not just the BBC, but also other Western journalists who are so bravely covering this war? And, and I hope the goodwill on this side is, is getting through to everybody there. But what sort of decisions do you have to discuss as a team? How difficult does it become to sustain an operation when you're encircled? Um, and what about your own personal decision to stay? Yeah, I mean, you know, none of us are forced to come here. Um, it's part of our job. Um, we all feel that we want to tell the story of this war and tell it accurately and fairly. And that is really important because there is so much... I was going to use the word crap, but I might as well. There is so much crap out there mm. that is misinformation, propaganda, nonsense. And what you're trying to do, whether it's the New York Times, Washington Post, Channel 4, ITV, Sky, the BBC, you're trying to be truthful to this story. And you're trying to represent these people who are having to cower down here. You want to represent them fairly. But you've got to weigh that against your own personal safety. Mm. And we have a security team here. Um, we all talk about um, uh, how much further we can go covering this story, when perhaps should we pull out, and if we did stay, well, you know, what would be the attitude of, of the Russian troops, and they're going to win this, I mean, they've got the force of power, so, you know, let's not, you know, pretend that the Ukrainian army is, is actually potentially going to win this struggle, because there are simply too many Russian troops. What is their attitude going to be to Western journalists? Um, and that is something you've got to weigh up as well. I mean, I arrived here uh, on the eve of war uh, last Tuesday. Uh, I actually thought I was going to be getting out three or four days later because no one believed that Vladimir Putin would actually launch this all-out invasion. Um, and, and I'm still here. So it's a day-to-day -day thing, really, as to deciding how long you're going to stay and, and what it is you're trying to achieve.